All right, we are reacting to when you didn't expect Celestia and loading screen to be dot 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 by way. Shout out to way. Apparently, this is a fan theory, so let's just fucking check it out and see what's going on here. If this is Celestia, then where the fuck is this place? Let's start from the ground up to that. Which is to that in Hebrew. So according to Google, the Hebrew word for ship boat uh, means ark. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We know that Mihoyo does not give random names for the sake of naming them. This, I believe, to be true. Hence, Tavat must relate to the ship arc in some way. And he puts the Titanic. Brilliant. Okay, why else would it be named after a ship? Tavat ain't even a common word. Here's the question. Is spaceships considered a ship? I mean, yeah. Because in Honkai Impact, there's this thing called Project Ark. Go back. I need to read the thing. Project Ark, an ark of retained knowledge bearing a copy of the Human Genome Library. The ark was launched to seek another habitable planet for humanity. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So the theory is that that is to that. That's it, right? A spaceship that aims to find a habitable world for mankind. They sent a spaceship containing a copy of the human genome G blah, 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 library enough to start a human civilization new world. Notice the name, Project Ark. It's not just a random name. It's based on the Bible. <laughs> Noah's Ark. Right, right, right. So to that is uh, the Ark from, you know, the Bible. And all the people, all the vision bearers, all the gods were just fucking giraffes and lions and penguins and little furry things. And we're being saved from the water, the flood. And one other human <laughs> is why we get it. Also, the male and female pair of all animals on Earth so they can breed. Basically, a living genome library. Uh-huh. Okay, that makes sense. Why is there a boat? Because God wants to reset the world by wiping out everything on Earth with a massive flood called the, gen the, the Genesis Flood. <laughs> the Genesis Flood lasted 40 days, but Noah was a good boy and the chosen one. That sounded like it jams. But Noah was a good boy and the chosen one, so God told him to build a boat because he about to drown that motherfucking planet. <laughs> he was who? This guy is awesome. This edited the, the the way he put this together. This is awesome. He was exempted from the punishment. Therefore, <laughs> Project Ark is based on Noah's Ark. One represent a new beginning of mankind as God reset the world. The other is a spaceship looking for a new beginning for mankind. How does this relate to Celestia, though? In Enkenomia, we found a book called Before Sun and Moon. It states that Celestia was not originally in Tavath when the doves uh, when the doves held branches. A bird in the hands were to the bush. When the eternal throne of the heavens came, it came from somewhere else. And the world was made anew. Made anew? Wasn't the world made anew too after Noah's Ark? Yeah, oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Here.
here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I, I know what he's getting at. I, I, I get it. I get it. It mentions when I burn the hand is where I tow the bush. You know where else a dove and a branch appears? No. That's right. In the Bible. <laughs> okay. Again, it's like I, okay. Right. You're, you're, uh, you're relating it to the Bible. I get that. I guess you're just backing it up with, um, more and more things relating it to the Bible. I get it. Treasury of Scripture. And the dove came into him in the evening. Right. This is some stuff from the Bible. In this section of Before Sun and Moon, 40 years after the held branches, 40 years. This is based off the Bible. Holy shit. 40? Yes, it's related to the Bible. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Coincidence? <laughs> Oh, it's so good, man. I remember this shit. Hmm. Hmm. The fuck you say to me? This was a good, uh, this was a good episode. It took Fane's 40 years to kill the seven dragon foreign of the old world and made the new world. <laughs> This is the Genesis plot. Okay. Eliminating the rulers of the old world is resetting the world. Yes. Yeah. Humongous. Okay. Humongous what? Some of us know that Genshin Universe is set in the imaginary tree. Based on the world tree, Yggdrasil. Yeager Dressel. That sounds uh uh Norse. That sounds Norse to me. Oh it is Norse. Asgard. Midgard, yeah. However, Genshin is heavily influenced by Gnosticism. Thanes could be based on something, a false god who thinks he's the true god. Basically, Celestia are aliens pretending to be God in the world of Tibet. After colonizing and killing most of them, they named this new land after the spaceship Ark Tavat. Meaning, Celestia is not heaven. It does not correspond with Asgard in Yggdrasil. In previous episode, I've said that Paimon is the personification of the world tree Yggdrasil. Which is why this place has her crown. That's not only the crown, that's also the base to all of the motherfucking uh the what are they called? The statues. The statues of the seven. But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? This place in loading screen and opening cutscene is a path that connects two worlds. And if we look at Yggdrasil, this place would be Bifrost. Uh, the Rainbow Bridge. Oh, the, the Bifrost. Oops. Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, Thor. Right. Tavat is fake sky heaven. Rainbow Bridge is descending to Tevat. Okay. Asgard, where Paimon belongs, the real heaven. Which means the unknown god is just Heimdall. Heimdall, the guardian of the Rainbow Bridge. That yellow-eyed motherfucker. Heimdall is also the shining god and whitest skinned of the gods. What skin tone is the unknown god? Yeah, so this is Heimdall. Yellow, yellow eyed. Holy shit, that's just a random coincidence. Uh, 
Well, I guess it's not a coincidence. Interesting. Interesting. Well, Heimdall's fucking banging. Three thousand two hundred and seventeen IQ. Well, we're fifty IQ over here. Thank you for the information. That was a great video. Um, shout out to the one and only Way. Good on you, man. Big IQ. Uh, it's a pretty good theory. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, join our Discord. There's great people over there, and of course, follow me on Twitch and YouTube. Turn on that notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next video.